And I opened my eyes, and there was a great big cobra snake sitting on my chest. I mean, he looked at it, and his beady little eyes were looking at me, and he was all hooded out, and he was going back and forth, and his little tongue. And, you know, being God's man of faith and power, I pulled the cover up over my head. <laughs> and this sweet little voice said, you can bind him. And I pulled the cover down, and I looked at him, and I said, I bind you in Jesus' name. And a hand came out of nowhere and clamped a chain on that thing, a fennacle and a chain. And he put three chains, with three hands, three chains. Whoom, whoom, whoom. And those chains tightened up, and they hauled him out the door. And I thought, now that is really interesting. About that time, this big black wood of spider came in. And he had a body as big as a zinc washtub that Glenn talked about taking a bath in. I mean, it was a big thing. Had an hourglass one, big long black legs. He's looking at me. I didn't have to have to. I didn't need anybody to tell me to bind him. I said, "I bind you in Jesus' name." Again, the chains came. They tightened up and they hauled that thing out of there. And I said, "Now what in the Sam Hill does all this mean?" I said, "Lord, show me." So I got down here and I talked to Jim and Mildred Coffey. I said, "You know, I had this interesting vision this morning." And so we decided we would fast and pray. And the next morning, Jim said, you know, you were very fortunate. I said, how's that? He said, God has shown you what happens in the Spirit when you bind a demon. And immediately, God witnessed Psalm 149 to me, which says, with the high praises of God in your mouth and a two-edged sword in your hand, you shall bind their kings and... They're princes and kings, they're princes and nobles with chains of iron. This is the privilege of all the saints. I said, okay, Lord, why is it that when I bind this thing that harasses me, it doesn't stop? Oh, y- y'all got a familiar spirit that sort of follows you around like Joe Panustic, you know, you, in Little Abner, he had the, he walked, a little man walked around, had the cloud over his head with the lightning, and everywhere he went, thing, bad things happened, you know, he just, this thing just sort of followed him. Well, I mean, y'all got a, a demon that just sort of follows around and harasses you every now and then, huh? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 am I the only one who's got that problem? <laughs> and I said, well, Lord, how come it, when that thing is following, I bind it, it doesn't stop. And he gave me a picture of me walking down the street with that thing, walking around, whispering in my ear. And there was a line of demons that went all the way over the hill. And I'd bind one, and the angels would snatch him away, and another one would just step right up like nothing had happened. And keep on. I said, oh. And he made me understand that if I would keep on binding, after the enemy lost 50 or 100 of his troops... He'd say, you know, it's not going too well. Because he doesn't have an infinite number. He's got a finite number. And he's lost a hundred of his troops there. He said, hmm, it's not going too well. And then he'll run a mouse around on his computer screen and say, you know, this worked against his grandfather real good. And he will withdraw for a season like he did Jesus. He said he departed to wait a more opportune time. In Luke, it's after the temptation. He said the devil departed from him to wait a more opportune time. See, Jesus was tempted all the way through his ministry. And, uh, and so I saw that uh, I just need to keep on binding when I'm being harassed. And just keep on binding and binding and binding and binding and binding. You believe it? Yeah. I mean... Faith is, the, the verb form of faith is believe. Believing Abraham. Well, I believe, and I bind. And I bind all the time. I bind in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Binding and loosening is one of the most important functions a Christian has. For it is the key to the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost is the kingdom of God on this earth. And if you are standing in God's kingdom, the righteousness of Jesus Christ, God's peace, God's joy, which is His strength, you'll be ready for whatever the end times happen. Whenever, whenever Jesus comes back, you'll be ready. 
You won't have to spend all your life trying to figure out where he's coming tomorrow or the next day or go all these things and, oh, maybe I better get myself or some, maybe I better move in next to the Mormons. Maybe they'll feed me during the tribulation, you know, because they got a year's food supply, you know. If you're walking in righteousness, peace, and joy, God will provide. You're following his spirit, he will provide. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What was that? I was going to say. And so we have bondage. Now, how do you break free of bondage? Breaking free of the mind control spirit is a process of confessing past sin, repenting and turning away from sin, from repeating the sin. Breaking the curses from those sins, binding all supporting demons, breaking evil soul ties and curses from the sins of the ancestors, and then casting out demons. As you get freedom in one area, and walk that area out, you get freedom, you get that demon out of there, and you pry that mind control spirit up, and you say, Lord, burn that tentacle up. So it's loose the spirit of fire and burning on that tentacle. And you just keep going after the areas. And stay, walk in love and charity with your neighbor. You know, I remember when I was a little boy. I was in the Episcopal Church. And I was an acolyte. And I was, and the bishop came. It was a big day when the bishop came, you know. And I was back in the, in the chancellor with the bishop. And then knock on the door. And this lady came and said, uh, Bishop, I have a Methodist family visiting me. Can they take communion? Bishop said, no. Well, that's what she left. And then they came and said, there's a Baptist family with me. That's, can they take communion? Another lady, no. And I think the other one was Presbyterian. I'm not sure. But there were three families that weren't Episcopalians. He said, none of them could take communion. And then during the service, at the time, right before the consecration of the elements, Bishop got up and stood and says, I've been informed that there was a Baptist family here in the congregation. No Baptists are taking communion. I'm informed there's a Methodist family. No Methodists are taking communion. No, Pres he said, no Presbyterians are taking communion. He said, no Episcopalians are taking communion. And I mean, there was a dead silence in that church. And he said, only those people who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins. And draw and in love and charity with your neighbors, intending to lead a new life. Draw near to God now and repent of your sins and come forth and receive the sacrament that you might lead a godly life. I've forgotten the rest of the prayer. That's in the old, that was Cramner's prayer. They don't use that anymore. That was in the old 19th and the 1500 prayer book and it was remained in the prayer book till 1918 then they took it out you remember it. Yeah. and uh, and you live in it and when you repent you of your sins and follow the holy spirit and live a life having your soul purified by the fervent love of the brethren let's look at first uh, peter I tell you, there was a dead silence in that church, though. <laughs> First Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the Word of God, which lives and abides forever. And so, as you do that, you don't let no more demons in. And you keep prizing off those things that would separate you from God, as God brings them up. It's a slow process. And when you break free of the major sins in your body, then you're ready to tackle the spirit of bondage because he's lost all of his circuits that he draws power from, and you can cast him out. He's a mind control spirit. That's the way I see it. And you, 
the major thing is not it's not so hard to cast demons out. It's hard to keep them out. And you keep them out by following God's Spirit and living in love and charity with your neighbors. Praying for those people who hurt you and have abused you and mistreated you and trusting God. Thanking God for them. Asking God to bless them and bring them to salvation. And when something bad happens, you praise God and say, God, I don't know why this happened, Lord, but I know that all things work together for good for those who love God and call to His purpose. Maybe I can't see the good now, but I trust You. I trust You, Lord God. I trust You. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And all I could say was, I trust you, Lord God. I trust you. If I die, I die. I'm not afraid to die. But I trust you, Lord. You restored me. And I tell you that you need to walk with Jesus. And you trust him. And so, the worst thing the devil can do to you is kill you. You go to glory. You go to glory. I walk through the goose lock in Russia. Whether it was in the spirit, in the body, I'm not sure. All I know is that I was covered with ice from here down on both sides. And I saw the prisoners that I was praying for. And all they had to do to get out of that place was to sign a statement saying Jesus Christ was dead. Horribly mistreated. Some of them were shut up in cages two by two by four feet. 22 hours a day. Beaten, starved. All they had to do to get out was a sign of statement saying Jesus Christ is dead. They said it and they, one of them told me it had never occurred to him to sign such a statement. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I made a cage that side and got in it so I wanted to see what it was like. And after 30 minutes, my back hurt so bad I couldn't stand it. And I didn't even have a door shut, you know, and in the dark. And I cried out to God. I said, God, how can anybody stand this? I could stand this. He said, I didn't call you to stand it. I'll give you the faith to stand what I called you. I said, when you lean on me, I'll give you the faith to carry you through these tribulations. Keep your eyes on God. He is a good God. No matter what happens, don't take your eyes off the goodness of God. We serve a good God. We serve a good and loving God who loves you. Don't take your eyes off of Him. Believe His promises. But the thing about it is you can't cherry pick. Some folks want to believe some of them and not the other. Like the man who came to me said, I want deliverance, but I'm not ready to give up smoking. I don't want to give, I don't want to cast out smoking. I'm not ready to get rid of the rest of these things. I'm not ready to get rid of smoking. And I said, thank you. And I went on there and said, why don't you go pray for me? I said, I, I'm not going to waste my time. When you're ready to quit sinning, come back and see me. He got insulted and left. I've never seen him again. And I'm sure he had very kind things to say about me. But walk with God. Walk with God. That'll st you'll stay free. Pray for your enemies. I can't emphasize enough how important it is. Be in submission to the authority over you.
Don't talk about your pastor. He's a human being like you are, and he may have some faults. But God will deal with his faults. And you don't need to pray to God and tell God about his faults. The devil's already doing that more uncharitably than you'll ever be able to. You thank God for his good points. You think of all the good things that man does and you pray for him. If God has placed you in that body, then you are in submission to the authority that God has set up. And you pray for him. And you pray. Pay your time. Be in church when that door is open. I believe you should be there every day, every time the door is open. And I think you need to pray. And somebody wants to talk about the pastor, come talk to somebody else. You don't want to hear it. Now, I'm going to tell you, I had somebody come up to me once. Uh, <laughs> he came up and he said, you know what? And he told me something about this. And she said, this is this about you? I said, really? I said, well, come on, let's go ask her over here. I said, you know, he said that you said such and such. And you know, that'll break up folks telling you gossip quicker than anything. <laughs> I mean, nobody told me anything. I did that twice, man. Nobody ever told me anything, boy. I, I never heard any gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get my ears defiled by it. I mean, you be on the outs with all the gossips and all the Jezebels, I tell you. <laughs> Praise God. And you need to pray for people that come up and gossip to you. And just pray for them and bless God. And God, ask God to bless them and to bless them, Lord Jesus. And you play blessings, never criticism. Never criticize. Never go to God with critical about somebody else. Because God knows it already. The devil is already there. You know it says in Revelation that he's sitting at God's side accusing the brethren day and night. And he's, a, you know, he's an expert. And he can do it more uncharitably than you'll ever be able to. God didn't want to hear you criticizing his saints. He wants to hear you blessing them. It says, bless, do not curse. The power of life and death is in your words. And so you bless your pastor. Bless those people that bother you and irritate you. That's the ones you really need to pray for. You need to thank God for them. Thank God for the people who are kind and good to you. But more importantly, the ones that you really need to pray the most for are those that irritate you, rub you the wrong way, say spitefully use you, steal from you. One man asked me, he said, I, I had a new book on Smith Wigglesworth. And it, it was a book I only, I'd never seen a copy of it before. And I couldn't, and, and I tried to find another copy to get a pastor, and I couldn't find another copy. And it was one of my favorite books. And I was reading it, and this young man said, he was an assistant pastor, actually. He said, Doc, can I, have that? Can I read that? So I said, I, I'm trying to read everything I can find about it. Worth. I said, well, I said, now this is a special book to me. I cannot, I don't know of any other place that I've never been able to find another copy of it. I said, I'll give it to you, but I, I want it back. Oh, yes, yes. Three weeks passed. I didn't have my book back. So I saw him. And I said, uh, you threw my book on Smith, on, on Wigglesworth? What book? I said, the book I loaned you on Smith. Oh, you didn't loan me any book. I don't have any book of yours. I said, yeah, don't you remember I gave it to you at the camp? Oh, you don't give me any book, Doc. I remember asking you for that book, but you never gave it to me. I said, what? I said, okay. And I just asked God to bless the man. I just, I didn't go to God and say, God, you know, he took my book. He's got my book. Where's my book? <laughs> he stole my book. Where's my book? I never found another copy of it. And I hope it blesses him. And I prayed for him every day. And I still pray for him. I pray for people that hurt you people. It'll get rid of the spirit of bondage. Praise God.
Well, let's uh, let's stop for a minute and everybody stand up and and praise God a little bit. I have gone. This is gone longer than I really anticipated it going. I didn't really think I'd talk over thirty minutes, but. Hold up your hands and praise God. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jump up and down a little bit and get the blood moving out of your feet, you know. Praise God. 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 Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and we bless you and we glorify you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. Say, dear Lord. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was manifested in the flesh. He died on the cross for my sin. Was raised from the dead for my justification. Ascended into heaven. Sits on the right hand of the Father. Ever make intercession for me. God is my Father. Jesus Christ is my big brother. I am a child of God. I have been accepted in the Beloved. All my sins have been forgiven under the blood of Jesus according to the riches of His grace whereby I have been accepted in the Beloved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I confess the sins of my ancestors. The sins of whoredom. Incest. Illegitimacy. Poverty. Vagabond. Returning evil for good. Poverty. The occult. Idolatry. And all the other sins. I repent of them. I place them under the blood of Jesus Christ. And I break the curse on me and my linear descendants forever. I break the curse of rejection on me and my linear descendants forever. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's sit down. Now, I break the curse of rejection. I break rejection now in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of bondage. Bondage, I isolate you from all other spirits now. You can draw no power, authority from any other spirit. You can communicate with no other spirit in the name of Jesus. I isolate you and I bind you. You witchcraft, mind-controlled spirits, I just bind you in Jesus' name. You cannot reinforce any other spirits. You can communicate with no other spirits. And I command you, I bind you in Jesus' name. Now, I come against the spirits of fear. Fear, I speak to you. I bind you in Jesus' name. I bind all fear. All fear. Fear, Magabogo, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear all around. I bind you. I bind the lust of the world, the lust of the eye, and the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life in the name of Jesus Christ. I break your power over these people, and I command you to be gone. I bind you in Jesus' name. I break all fear. I break the grasshopper spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind the grasshopper spirit. I bind all spirits of terror and torment in the name of Jesus. I bind all spirits of heaviness and depression. Fear in the heart brings heaviness. I bind it in the name of Jesus. And I command it to go. But God gave us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the spirit of praise, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And I bind that spirit of heaviness now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I break its power. I break all torment now, all tormenting spirits, all nightmares in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out, all tormenting spirits that you're not saved. Come out, that you committed the unpardonable sin. Come out, all tormenting spirits that your wife isn't faithful to you. Come out, that your children are, are going to be involved in an accident. Come out, in the name of Jesus. All tormenting spirits, in the name of Jesus. I bind you and I break your power. 
Come out, tormenting spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, every tormenting spirit, I bind you. Every compulsive spirit, I bind you and I break your power in Jesus' name. Come out of there. Out, 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 out in Jesus' name. I break your power now and I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of compulsion now in the name of Jesus. Perfectionism. You've got to do it right. got to do it right. You just worked a little bit harder. You worked a little bit harder. It had been okay. I bind that perfection spirit in the name of Jesus. That works righteousness spirit. Come on. Out, 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 out. All works righteousness. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus. I break your power in Jesus' name. I bind the perfection spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of paranoia in the name of Jesus. Come out. Paranoia spirits. Come out. Suspicion spirits. Projection spirits. Accusation spirits. Come out. All spirits of accusation. Come out. Compulsive confession. Self-accusation. Oh, I'll never be good enough. I'll never be good enough. Come out. Self-pity. All spirits of self-pity. I bind self-pity. Pull me. Pull me, spirit. Come out. Pull me. I break your power in the name of Jesus. I bind you. Pull me. Come out. Pull me. Come out. Come out. Pull me in the name of Jesus. I break your power. Pull me. Come out. Pull me in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Gluttony now. Gluttony spirits. Come out. All gluttony spirits. God of the belly. Idolatry. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind the spirits of pride, pride, rejection in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirits of pride, stubbornness, rebellion in the name of Jesus. Idolatry and bitterness. I come against the spirit of bitterness. Bitter spirits. Come out. Bitter spirits. Rebellious. Bitter spirits. Come out. Come out. All the... All the rebellion in the name of Jesus Christ. All the rebellion in the name of Jesus. I bind you rebellious spirits, bitter spirits. Come out. Come out. Come out. All the spirit. Pull out the root of bitterness now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pull out that root of bitterness in the name of Jesus. You can't defile these people anymore. Come out. All that bitter spirits. All those unhappy memories. I bind those unhappy memories. I speak to the unhappy memories. All those defiling, tormenting, unhappy memories of the bad things in the past. I bind them. I bind that replay demon that keeps bringing them up in the name of Jesus Christ. Bondage to the past. Bondage to bad memories. Bondage in the name of Jesus. Bondage to witchcraft. Bondage to fear. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you. In the name of Jesus, I bind all the spirits that came in from yoga, from the occult, from yoga, from Hinduism, from Buddhism, from transcendental meditation. Come out now, all you yoga spirits, all you Hindu spirits. I come against Kundalini and Silva and Kali in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against Ashko, Pajna, Shindai. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you and I break your power and I command you to go. Go, all martial arts spirits. All spirits of the martial arts, all shoot thy spirits, tai yo spirits, come out. Kung fu spirits, out in the name of Jesus Christ. All martial arts spirits, out in the name of Jesus Christ, come out. Out, out, out in Jesus' name. Go, go, go. All you Hindu spirits, all you yoga spirits, come out. All Lamar spirits, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind you. All transcendental meditation spirits, come out. Out, 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 out. Out. All spirits from acupuncture, acupressure, come out. Irology, come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, yoga spirits, roofing spirits, come out. Come out. The spirits of the roofer, come out. In the name of Jesus, roofer, I'm speaking to you. Come out. I break your power in Jesus' name. I break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the infirmity spirits. I speak to the spirit of shame now. Come out, shame. God said He'd give us double honor for our shame. Come out, shame. I bind you, shame. I break the curse of the false covering in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the curse of the false covering that brings shame and humiliation. Come out, shame and humiliation. Come out. All shame and humiliation. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Daddy. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you and I break your power and I command you to go in Jesus' name. Go! Shame, humiliation. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, you fouled out all you. Come out. In the name of Jesus. I come against the bitter spirits now. All the infirmities that come in through bitterness in the name of Jesus. 
come out. All those infirmities that came in through bitterness, I bind diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind that spirit of diabetes that came in through bitterness and rebellion in the name of Jesus. I break your power, diabetes. I command you to go. Go! I come against gluttony now in the name of Jesus and alcoholism and drug addiction that came in through stubbornness and rebellion in the name of Jesus. Come out! God of the belly, I break your power and I command you to go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you in Jesus' name. I bind you, God of the belly. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Bondage, bondage. Come out of there. Diabetes, bondage. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. I bind you and I break your power. Come out of the God's people. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. you got no right to them in Jesus' name. Fibromyalgia, I speak to you. Come out. Come out. God, Jesus bore all of our pain. All of our pain. Fibromyalgia, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, arthritis. Arthritis, come out. I bind arthritis in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. All pain from arthritis in the name of Jesus. Come out, arthritis. Come out. All muscle pain. Come out. In the name of Jesus. I break your power. You can't stay there. You got to go. Go in Jesus' name. Go. Go. I bind you and I break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the immune system now. I bind them. I bind allergies in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind hay fever. I bind food allergies. And I break their power. I speak to the immune system. Line up with the Word of God. Line up with the Word of God. I bind you and I break your power in Jesus' name. And I command you to line up with the Word of God. The Word of God says these people have been healed. In Jesus' name I break your power. Come out, congestion, congestion in the sinuses, congestion in the nose, congestion in the throat, congestion in the lungs. Come out, come out, congestion in the colon, diabetes. Come out, 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 in the name of Jesus, pancreatitis, hepatitis. Come out, cholelithiasis. Come out, Crohn's disease. Come out, in the name of Jesus Christ, diarrhea, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. I bind you and I break your power. Out there in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. 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 I bind the spirits of eyes now. Come out. I break the curse of come out. Curse of cursing their parents, of talking about their parents, being disrespectful to the parents. It says the birds of the eye, the birds will pick out their eyes. I break I come against eye disease. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that talked about their parents need to re everybody needs to repent. Of saying bad things about your parents in the name of Jesus. We break the curse. Break the curse in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak vision now. I speak to eye problems. I speak to cataracts. I speak to glaucoma. I speak to nearsighted, farsighted, astigmatism. I bind you and I break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Come out. Strabismus, come out. Glaucoma, come out. Come out. Conjunctivitis, come out. I bind you and I break your power. Gingivitis, come out. Gingivitis, pyrrhea, gonorrhea. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All you rheas, come out. Out. Stilato real. Come out. Bind you. In the name of Jesus. Come against thyroiditis now in the name of Jesus Christ. All thyroiditis, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against asthma, congestion in the lungs, bronchospasm, bronchial. I come against emphysema. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Go! Emphysema, go! Go! In the name of Jesus, I come against asthma. I come against pneumonia, bronchitis, bronchiectasis. Come out! I come against gastroesophageal reflux in the name of Jesus Christ. Duodenal ulcers. All the duodenal ulcers. Come out! Come out! Hyperacidity, come out! Mucoid colitis, come out! Come against bladder spasms in the name of Jesus, come out! I come against erectile dysfunction, come out! Vaginitis, come out! I come against frigidity, sexual frigidity, come out! Sexual, I come against impotence, come out! Come against all sexual dysfunction spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to go. I break the bondage to oral genital sex in the name of Jesus Christ. Anal sex, oral genital sex, 
sex with animals. I bind bestiality in the name of Jesus. I break the curse of bestiality, inherited bestiality. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come against gonorrhea. I come against chlamydia. I come against trichomonas. I come against human papillomavirus. I bind all of you in the name of Jesus and I command you to be gone. I speak. I come against all cancer, cancer of the lung, cancer of the tongue, cancer of the lip, cancer of the skin, cancer of the pancreas, cancer of the colon, all cancer, all melanoma, and I bind you and I break your power. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord God. Come against. Oh, Jesus. 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 Jesus, help us, Lord God. Pull your spirit out now, Lord God. Lord, pour out your spirit and heal your people. Let your love fall down now, Lord God. What's your love that heals, Lord God? I come against the spirits of stroke and heart attack now in the name of Jesus. I come against all peripheral neuritis in the name of Jesus Christ, all kidney diseases, all nephritis in the name of Jesus, destructive kidney diseases in the name of Jesus, Lord. I bind them in Jesus' name. I command them to go. I speak healing now, Lord. Your healing grace, Lord God. I come against hypertension in the name of Jesus, cardiovascular disease, arterial sclerosis in the name of Jesus, occlusive vascular disease. I speak healing to your people now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I come against brain tumors, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I stand for Brent now, Lord God, and I ask you to heal him. Healing, Lord. I stand for Dan. I ask you to heal him, Lord. I speak healing to God's people now. Let your spirit flow, Lord God. Everybody hold up their hands now. Everybody get up and hold up your hands. Fill your people now, Lord God. Fill your people, Lord God. I speak, I speak healing now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Healing, Lord. Lord, I ask you to fill the teeth now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. All these people have got carious teeth, Lord. I ask you to fill their teeth, Lord. Fill them, Lord. I just ask you to fill them. I ask you to put gold crowns in their mouths, Lord, in the name of Jesus, so that they'll know you've been there. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I speak healing to their mouths now, healing to their teeth. I speak strong teeth, strong gums, Lord, strong teeth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I ask you to heal their tongues and their taste, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Take the bitter taste out of their mouth, Lord. I speak healing to them, Lord. And I ask you to heal all the bitter memories. I speak healing now, Lord God. The love of God to flow down. Just let your love flow into them, Lord God. Flow, river. Flow, flow, flow. We thank you and we praise you and we bless you and glorify you. And all God's people said, Amen, amen, amen. amen.